Okay, here's my setup for my ESP32 board, and uh, I'm using the keys. ESP32 has a nice little shield, makes it easy to plug in my sensors and stuff. And so I've connected it to my VNH5019 uh, motor driver. And the uh, connections are pretty simple, there's not a lot to it. You need uh, to connect a common ground, ground on any of these grounds, any of these grounds on the uh, ESP32 to this ground pin here. And you need to solder in uh, the header pin on this side uh, because this is a shield that works with Arduino Uno. Um, but it has this uh, this optional header pin uh, on the side that you can hook up the uh, the critical pins, and so then you need to, uh, you need to hook up a and I didn't know this a, a VDD the VDD to your five volt or your three three point three volt on your ESP32. So here I have on my shield, I have a five volt pin. And so that's to drive the logic on here, on the, on the motor driver. And if you don't do that, it won't work. So I didn't know that. And uh, the documentation on the motor driver doesn't seem to indicate that you have to have it, but you have to have it or it will not work. So you need the VDT, VDD to five volt pin to drive the logic on the motor driver. And then you only need three other pins. You need a uh, pin. Uh, so you need the motor one, a motor one B if you're using motor one, and then uh, you need the PMW pin for motor one. And then you just hook that. And I used uh, the GPIO pins um, number 23, number 22 for the two uh, pins to to do my uh, uh, rights to, to to set them low and high to determine the, the motor direction and then my PMW pin I used uh, 21 but then there's so many pins here you can use any one any that you want almost any that you want and so that's all the connections and then on the motor driver you just need to hook up uh, a power source for the motors because the ESP32 will not drive any motors by itself so you need an external power source so I've got a uh, 2200 milliamp uh, LiPo that I've connected here with some pretty heavy gauge wire uh, you have to because if, if once the motor starts drawing some amps uh, now this little motor not, not a big deal but I, I use some pretty big motors 550 and 540 and they draw some amps so here then I hooked up the wires to my motor M1 motor and so I'll hook it all up and show you it working okay there's a little program try to capture it here uh, define these two variables the motor pin A, motor pin B control the direction and then uh, PWM is a, a motor controller speed um, so in setup you just have to do a pin mode so it's just like Arduino Uno uh, but the difference here is in the analog pin uh, to set up an analog pin in ESP32, you got to do this LEDC attach pin, uh, and you're attaching it uh, to zero, and then uh, you do the LEDC setup. You're set up on a channel zero, 490 hertz, which is the speed of the processor, the PMW uh, frequency on Arduino Uno. 8-bit uh, resolution uh, so you get 0 to 255 and then down here get my 
camera to cooperate. Uh, set the motor direction to forward or one direction. Uh, you just set the two pins. One direction is uh, pin A is low, pin B is high. The other direction, pin B, pin A is high, pin B is low. And then I'm just cycling through 0 to 1, 2, 55. And you do the LCD right and you do it to channel 0. And that's it. That's the program. Pretty simple. So I'll connect my LiPo. And that shows a, a light on my driver that it's getting power. And now I just need to plug in, there's my motor, and you just need to plug in some power to the ESP32 and uh, it should dry the motor. So it's cycling through the speed. And you'll also see, yeah, so then it's going to cycle again. You'll also see that uh, the motor driver has a, a green light. So you don't actually have to hook up a motor to see if this thing is working. Uh, it has an LED on there that shows the power that's going out to the, uh, the motor terminals. There you go. Looks pretty easy. As far as setting up your uh, your ESP32, there's so many different brands out there. Yeah. As far as setting up your ESP32, there's so many uh, different uh, models out there that uh, you may need different setup instructions and everything. So I don't have any specifics on here. As far as setting up my keys, I only had to install one. Um, into I only had to install one library, the the ESPRESSIF library, in my Arduino uh, IDE, IDE, and uh, and and then it just I plugged in my cable, my USB cable to the the ESP32, and it just all worked. It, it was no problems. So, but uh, there may be some different kinds of instructions. So, but the internet has uh, many uh, places out there that talks about installing uh, the appropriate libraries for your ESP32. So the reason I like the ESP32 now is that you can do just about anything that you could do on the Arduino or you can do anything on the Arduino with minor changes. Um, um, you, you cannot use the uh, analog write statement or function um, but you can use the LEDC write function uh, to replace that one. Now somebody did write a library out there for the analog write for the ESP32 but when I tried to use it uh, it worked fine but the digital write was not working so I just decided to go with the LEDC write and uh, just replace that in my code. Um, also, uh, to run your servos, uh, you need to replace uh, the uh, the servo.h with uh, e the ESP servo. And uh, so, pretty minor changes to my code that I already have written for Arduino Uno. And, and this processor is just so much faster. It's 240 megahertz. So it's so much faster than the Arduino Uno, which is only 16. And you may say, well, why do you need a faster processor? Well, I'm actually, on some of my projects, I'm now at the point where a faster processor is a necessity. And you also get more 
uh, GPIO pins and you can you know you're already set up to communicate with the internet with Bluetooth so this is really the way to go the SP32 is is really the way to go and it's cheap um, so this is the way I'm going forward in the future so good luck if you're using this driver now this information basically applies also to other drivers the uh, a4950 driver, uh, the L298 uh, H driver, uh, motor driver, uh, they all they all would connect uh, basically in the same way. So um, if you're using the now this driver here is a dual driver, dual motor driver, and I've had both motors working on this driver and it works very well. Um, but you can use a single and you can actually combine these to get more amperage uh, if your motor draws a lot of amps you can combine this these two channels into a single channel and provide more amps for a larger uh, a larger motor um, I use uh, 540 and 550 size DC motors on here and uh, no, no problems um, uh, as long as you you're not drawing more than 12 amps per channel so uh, if you're using the I, I highly highly recommend this uh, VNH uh, 5019 uh, motor driver and I highly recommend uh, the ESP32 I'm now converted good luck with your projects